Waters World never misses an opportunity to go to a parade. And Waters World is such an open-minded person, especially when it comes to other cultures. So when I heard that the Dominican Day Parade was going downtown, I had to follow. If the Cubans are famous for their cigars, and Puerto Rico is famous for its rum. What's Dominican Republic famous for? Well, Dominican famous too, you know, for the liquor too, you know, because they drink a lot. What do Dominicans like to do for fun? We drink, we smoke hookah. <laughs> are you guys out here really celebrating or are you just looking for girls? No, I'm out here at both. Both, yeah, yeah, both, 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 both. Can you guys teach me some Dominican dance moves? Yes, you gotta shake it. So take your back. It's a papi chulo. El papi chulo. El Santo Domingo le llaman a este el papi chulo. No idea what you said. The Latino vote, very, very powerful in this election. Yes, everybody have to vote. Everybody have to vote. Are you guys gonna vote for president in November? Hell no, 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 hell no. no. Who are you gonna vote for? Well, you're gonna be Hillary Clinton. Better than Trump because Trump don't know nothing. He don't got no experience. Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> Probably Hillary got more experience than him. Hillary has a lot of experience in messing things up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> My vote is for Hillary Clinton because I think he represents first the women. Bill Clinton represents women too. Yes, the way. <laughs> you are bad. You like Hillary? Girl power. Yeah, but she's also really bad. Shame on you. You don't like Trump? Nope. What about Hillary? Nope. What about me? Yeah, you my, you my man. Who are you going to vote for in November? Trump. So many times he say things that maybe they are close to the truth, but it's not the way to say it. But to be honest, he doesn't know what he wants. No? Yeah, he doesn't know how to make up his mind either. Yeah, most men don't. Yeah, that's right. I am 100% certain that I am 0% sure of what I'm going to do. That was feisty. So, how are Latinos going to vote in November and how engaged are they? Joining me now is the host of America Trends with Dr. Gina, Dr. Gina Loudon, and Fox News contributor and Democratic strategist Julie Rajinsky. And former Miss California, USA, and Donald Trump supporter, Carrie Prejean Bowler. So, Carrie, we're talking about the Latino vote, and you had some experiences with Donald Trump in a more emotional way. When you hear people say that Donald Trump is a mean guy and he doesn't like Latinas, give us some background. How would you assess that? Well, I mean, I had a personal friendship with Donald Trump. I mean, back in 2009 when I was Miss California, you know, he, he really stood up for me at a time when it wasn't really popular to stand up for someone who was, you know, outspoken about being politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about Donald Trump is that he speaks the truth. He speaks for the majority of people in this country and how they feel. And, um, you know, as far as the Latinas go, I, I think that, that he's going to win them over. I really do. I mean, he wants really to. Do. I really do. I think that, that they want job security. I think that they want, um, you know, as far as uh, putting a wall up, I mean, what kind of country doesn't have borders? I mean, we don't have a country if we don't have security. We don't have the Olympics if we don't have borders either. Yeah, and that's exactly what we need. I mean, to call him a racist, that is the furthest thing. I mean, Donald Trump is not a racist. I mean, look, at he, he married an immigrant. Right. For God's sakes. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just don't buy it. Do you think that the Donald can rebound from his terrible numbers with Latinos when he talks about jobs, when he talks about safety, when he talks about values? Or do you think he's too long gone in that demographic? No, I think the things that Donald Trump talks about, economic security, national security, constitutional soundness, those are the reasons why people immigrate. I live in a mostly immigrant neighborhood, mostly Hispanic neighborhood, mostly Mexican immigrants, uh, right on the border in San Diego. And I can tell you, Jesse, this is what's so funny. They won't say it out loud. They don't talk about it at their parties. They probably don't tell a pollster, but they whisper to me, I'm supporting Trump. This is mm -hmm. scientifically very, very the accurate. scientific Wouldn't gene of 
I mean, you can really extrapolate a lot from that. I, I what can. Do you think? Can I pause for a second? You, I love how you refer to yourself in the third person. It was Waters World <laughs> goes to a parade. I love it. Waters I, I, World, I, I love know. it. Go I think you got to get my ego in check. And it was Julie. unbelievable that you only refer to yourself in the third. You're like Bob Dole wants his peanut butter. That was unbelievable. <laughs> no, but Waters Incredible. World does want to know from your perspective. <laughs> what is Waters yes, World? You saw some like of you know. these Latinos yes. at the parade. Didn't seem that engaged. Yes, some of them are for Hillary. Some of them aren't even going to vote. One of them said she's into Trump. What do you think? Um, I think Trump's at about 20 percent with Latinos. I know that polls don't really matter. Crowd size does, according to the reality world of Donald Trump. But for those of us who've done campaigns for the last 20 years, I could tell you polls actually do matter. And um, Latinos don't seem to like Donald Trump. It may be because he points to judges who are of Mexican descent and say that they're ruling against him because he wants to build a wall with Mexico. One might construe that as a tad racist. But you just didn't a little see bit racist. Donald Trump apologize just the other to day who? for everything that he said that might have caused pain <laughs> and suffering to people. So you're not going to accept his apology? Wait, can I just say something? I, too, apologize to anybody that I might have offended in my 12 years here at Fox News. I'm not going to specifically <laughs> say what for, because I have nothing to apologize for. Apology I, accepted. Thank you. We're going to wipe Excellent. the slate if clean. If that's the worst you. thing that they can come up with, I mean, about Donald Trump, it's not. Look at Hillary promise. Clinton. I mean, seriously, you can't even compare the two. Hillary Clinton <laughs> appeals to Latinos when she says she keeps like hot sauce in her pocketbook. Me too. Right? I mean, it's it's total pandering. And and just talk about the double standard for a second, Julie. Romney had an illegal mow his lawn. He didn't even know about it, and he got right. killed yeah. for that. Right. Hillary Clinton is hiring illegal immigrant volunteers for her campaign, and the media right. says nothing. They say nothing. nothing. Here's the other thing. This is a national security issue, and when I talk to Latinos I know, they say, you know what? We don't want people that aren't vetted coming across our borders. They're concerned about the refugee influx. Hillary makes no real statement on that, Jesse. She's she said nothing about how she's going to protect us from people that want to kill us coming across our border. It's not like Hispanic people don't have children and families that they want to protect right. too. And we know that Hillary has evolved a lot on this issue. I remember when she was running for senator president, she didn't want driver's licenses right. for illegals, and now she's hiring her, them to work on the campaign. So what happened That's there? A question. How do you hire a volunteer? Because they're volunteers. They don't. Well, you got to sign some paperwork. Well, I know no. you guys don't like paperwork. But. We don't, well, I, I don't know. Whenever I have a volunteer, I'm like, come on in. Go answer some phones. Go stuff some envelopes. You don't hire them because you uh, can't give you them know money. What? She's probably not going to pay them because she's so cheap. She's going to keep the money for herself. <laughs> oh, she is? Really? Is that right? Is that how it <laughs> works? Right. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much.